yeah. The beat miners are in the building. Mr. D. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is the Halftime Radio Show, 89.1, New York University Radio. And uh, we come to you live every Wednesday night right here. The Halftime Radio Show on the web, www.wnyu.org. You can email us, halftime at wnyu.org. You can call us up, 212-998-1818. And you can IM us, WNYU Radio. And uh, tonight's going to be a very hectic night. We got a lot of people. We got a lot, a lot of people. And uh, I don't know why that brother right there is sitting all the way in the back. He's the star of the show. Yeah. So as we pass the headphones around and, and get the mics prepared, uh, we have uh, the gentleman that were up here, oh, about a month ago, I guess, with the, uh, the SP. With the SP. And uh, they go by the name of the B-Miners. That's right. That's right. And my jacket don't match my jeans. It's so good. <laughs> yo, we just... Word up. I'm, yo, I'm telling you straight up and down. I ain't getting no sleep. I've been up since yesterday. Just what came out. Mean? I just came out the studio. Okay. Walt just came out the studio. He looks like a father. Yeah. <laughs> he is a father. Uh, yeah, I got the father. See? Look. And then we found this other father with a... You know what I'm saying? A lot of fathers. <laughs> Just the words worth in the background. Words worth in the background. We're, we're gonna save him for the end because we all know once he gets on the mic, there's no there's no stopping him. Oh, and the words worth album is in stores right like now. Mirror music. So Actually, it, it, it was in the Fappy stores until it sold out. Oh, okay. So now, uh, okay. Scared me for a minute. There. So I'm now, about to say, oh. now we're awaiting some more copies. Ah. <laughs> so um, right. yeah, but the Beat Miners album, fully loaded with static, mm. is hitting stores this upcoming Tuesday. That's right. Yeah. All right, so uh, it's matching purse right there. What, what, can we, <laughs> what can we expect to hear on this Beat Miners album? Oh, man. Go ahead, Mr. Walk. Uh, Why not talk? You, you, you're going to hear Beat Miners crazy, crazy beats with a lot of MCs that we call family. Okay. You know, yeah. just, you know, like the, the, the Sha Lumi joint that you're playing right. every week. Thanks for the support on that. Of course. Dilated, Charlie Tuna, Wordsworth. Right. Uh, we got we got some stuff on there. We got some stuff on there. Yeah. Now who who officially is in the beat miners nowadays? Uh, um. Mr. Wall, Evil D, Mr. Wall, Evil D, and then two more dudes. Mr. Wall and Evil D. <laughs> I like them dudes. <laughs> okay. So uh, yeah, there it is. Um, and uh, I think I've asked you this before, and I, I, I totally forgot. But um, the let's, let's take it back to the beat miners remix of Cool Keith. Papa Large. Okay. Wow. Okay. All right. The the gentlemen whose names were listed there next to the beat mine is Ike something. And Ike Lee, Ike Lee and, and Aaron, Aaron Freedom Live. Okay. Now, who are those gentlemen? Those were, like, when beat mine started, it was like a whole bunch of us, and those were the two dudes that, you know, when they, they first was uh, on the scene and they was popping off. Okay. So it was like, you know what? Uh, we we need to get we, the name out there. Yeah, we're going to get the name out there by doing this Papa Large remix. You know. And everybody gets mad at me because I'm not an ultra fan, so it's okay. Really? No, I'm not, an ultra fan. I'm not you know, the ultra fan. Keith is my I love, boy. I love all of them, Mo and all right, of right. them, but and, and T, but I was, <laughs> like, I'm Run DMC. That's me. You know what I'm saying? Run DMC, Beastie Boys, uh, <laughs> Public Enemy. That's Mr. Wolf. See, right now you've seen a difference. So you're the Rush Artist Management. Yeah, man. I'm the Rush Artist dude. <laughs> I like whatever's hot. Like, like last year, for instance, the Mad Bone album was... Jaquan. Jaquan. <laughs> you said whatever's hot. I no, mean, I mean whatever's hot, like hot as in really hot. Okay. Not hot as in uh, uh, chart hot. Okay. Like Mad Villain is one of the top albums on my list. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Right. I guess it's like War always says when we go away, if you look in his bag, you see like Destiny hey, Child. Why are you bugging? <laughs> <laughs> you see paid in full, uh, criminal minded, illmatic. Um, you see that in my joint too, but you Mac also and the soul, see brother. You see that? Cool Key, right? You see, Yo, you bugging with Cool Key? <laughs> Yo, B, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta diversify your bonds, look. <laughs> ah, you know, I, I listen to everything. Right. 
You know, because, you know, you, you can't just say, I'm going to listen to this and I'm going to listen to that. Listen right. to everything. You got to be up on the, you know, I'm going to tell you what killed me with Cool Key. I'm going to tell you. Okay. And I never said this on the uh, air before. Here we All right. go. We was in New Orleans one time, right? Okay. And Cool Key was like, in the daytime, I saw Cool Key. He was like, hey, what's up? How you doing, Blasey Blasey, right? Right. Nighttime, so dope. I swear to God, this is the God. word is born to all the gods and the earth. Dude had the cape joint with a coil rotary phone in his pocket. He was real with that. But he was diversified as yo, well. Yo, when I saw that, I said, I'm out. Yo, it was cool key. I'm going to tell you the ill joint. I was, it was me, oh. E, Pete Rock, and you're never going to believe, God rest the dead. Old Dirty, uh -huh. and we all looking at Cool Key like, yo, what are you doing? Old Dirty looking at him like, yo. Now you know that, that stuff. What's old the, Dirty looking what at you him. on? <laughs> yo, B, you know, the brother needed, you know, he needed some well, guidance. You know what, though? Uh, I think, on a serious note, I think he, he really may have some 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 imbalances going on. Uh, nah, he um, does, but he's, he's cool. Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, I got a story also. <laughs> uh -oh. When I was working at Wild Pitch, and Ultra was signed to the label. Oh, wow. And, uh, you know, of course, as every artist is not happy with their label, you know, Ultra was very unhappy with Wild Pitch. Oh, I remember that. And uh, I remember one day we came out into the hallway and there was eggs. Like someone had threw eggs on the, on the floor. Yeah, and yeah, there was yeah. messages written on the eggshells. <laughs> <laughs> like, I hate you. <laughs> and there was no one else but Keith. Yo, yo, you know, you know, dude is out there when dude said his hook to his record was, "Mommy, mommy, where are you, mommy?" Yo. That's a hot beat. Yo, yeah. wow, yo, I go for like that. that. Yeah. I like that. I like that EP. B, though. Don't yeah. say "mommy" on my beat, man. I'm not with that. <laughs> yo, B, you don't understand. He was lost inside the supermarket. I don't, yo, you, you lost. You 30 years old. You know, he was right. You know, he was, he was younger. It was a story about when he was young, he got lost in the supermarket. Run DMC, baby. Run he DMC. explained don't, it to me. Don't even try to explain yeah, that song. Come on, no. don't even try to explain He explained it to me, because you know how to ask him. Yo, oh. man. But I, yo, but this is a beat behind his interview. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, but you know, peace to Ultra Magnetic. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Um, oh, man. Oh, uh, all right. So, uh... Let's talk about another topic. Uh, seven year anniversary show. Oh, we man. had we had the beat miners up here, and we had uh, Just Blaze up here. Yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, there's there's a, there's a story about the beat miners and Just Blaze. <laughs> there's, there's a there's a a shared loop between the two that uh, you guys had. Uh, actually, if you want to take it back to the to the to the, to the back in the days. The OC World Life album actually uh, had that, yeah, that, 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 that yeah. interlude on it that I think Buck hooked up. Uh -huh. And then shortly after that, you put out one of your um, EVD. Your, 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 That's my show record. Your break records joints. Yeah. And, that, and you had that loop on there. Um, and then it disappeared for many years. Uh -huh. And then recently reemerged on the, um, the Black Moon Stay Real joint. Mm -hmm. uh, and then shortly after that, we see Mr. Jay Z with the, uh, the public announcement joint. Um, wow. And uh, what, what's your feelings on that, gentlemen? First of all, I'm gonna be the bigger man. And cool I told incidents. You this yeah. Well. <laughs> all right. You know what? Yeah, it was a coincidence. That's uh -huh. what Evil D told me. But you know, Evil D told me to be politically correct. Ah, uh, you know, I, I see it like this, right? You gotta diversify your box. Oh, okay. Okay. Nah, this is my thing, right? Uh -huh. I'm, I'm gonna say it like this. I make beats. Right. I think, uh, nah, y'all never witnessed me make a beat. Y'all witnessed me put stuff together on the SP in front of you. Uh-huh. But at the end of the day, anything that has my name on it, I can make. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you said, E, the SP outside, make a beat right now, right. and you give me a record, I'll come back with something. Right. You know what I'm saying? My thing is this, at the end of the day... Yo, man, I, I I do what I gotta do, and that's all I'm saying. <laughs> you really went? I don't know where you went right cool there with that answer. <laughs> you went to Cool Keith Avenue. Nah, I learned that from I learned that from Buckshot. Yeah. Buckshot taught me how to talk to people. Okay. Nah, but for real though, all, all jokes aside though, it's like you know my thing is, yo, it's a loop. Right. So being that it's a loop, that's what I'm passing off as a loop. Now I feel something that I played. Right. Or feel something that, you know, I chopped a certain way or whatever. Like who got the props for instance? That's a chop. A lot of people don't know that. Right. That's not the way the record goes, it's a chop. 
And a lot of people sample who got the props to try to say they sample the Ronnie Lawrence. Right. But I catch them out there all the time. I hope you already paid. Yeah, I, no, I paid for it. For saying the name. But even if I didn't pay for it, Nervous can pay for that, Bill. There you go. Yeah, you Michael know. Weiss, he, he covered these tracks on yeah, that. Yeah, he, right. he paid for that. All right. But um, at the end of the day, it's like, you know, yo, man, I'm, I'm, I'm to the point where... I don't want no more coincidences. Right. I That's why it's like I'm doing my stuff. Seek, I'm, I'm real secret about mine now. I'm in the house working. No one's hearing nothing. But you, you know. know what? If you peep our whole, like, history, that's our history. Yeah. I got you open comes out. <laughs> right. Then ill and out scratch. Right. Boom. All right? I was going to bring up another one, but go ahead. Um, two turntables and a mic. Two turntables and a mic. Okay. Oh, not even, not even that. Um, Yeah, two turntables and a mic and then DMX. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then now with the Stay Real and Jay-Z. Even with, with Smith & Wesson, the Bucktown and uh, Nice and Smooth came out with uh, How to Roll It. How to Roll It. Yeah, how many white is in my yeah, white? Yeah, yeah. Right. so, you know, it's oh, like... Yeah. They, what, they have a war zone too, right? Was on it with some sounds. Mm -hmm. What about the um the other joint? I could be wrong, but did y'all do the um uh the uh help the scout the joint? Um the, the, let the brains blow. No, Paul, baby Paul did that. Paul did that. Yeah. And then with that, that was at that time. Then and then. But, I'm gonna tell you a story about that off the air. Okay. I'm talking, yo, you gonna roll. <laughs> and you know what? It was funny about it. It, it started in New Orleans, the same <laughs> time with Cool Key. And, and it's <laughs> and it's ill cause like one thing I will say too is uh -huh. Buck Wild got got mad records, I got mad records. Everyone who buy everyone who makes beats or DJs got mad records. Right. So it's about, you know, diversifying your bonds, you know? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fully loaded with static. The new Beat Miners album comes out this Tuesday. That's right. And uh, how is it that you guys have been able to maintain in this industry and, and keep yourself fresh and keep putting out albums and keep working with different artists? Because we're fans. And, you know, we got on the real. And this is real talk, everybody. If I'm not talking to Eclipse about a certain record or talking to Wordsworth about a certain... We talk about... The music, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, mm -hmm. yo, what, what do you like? What don't you like? What? You didn't like that? And you didn't like this? You're crazy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it's like, and you know, it's... One thing about hip-hop is, hip-hop has always been a, a debatable thing. Mm -hmm. If everybody liked every song, it would be whack. If yeah. everybody hated every song, it would be whack. You know what I'm saying? So with brothers like you and, and, and my man Words and DJ Premier and all that, like, we sit and we argue. Right. Yo, I can't believe you like that. That's garbage. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So with that, us being a fan first, mm -hmm. it's just, you know, when we hear that hot record, like when I was up here the, the, for the anniversary oh, joint, I'm hearing the Super Nat record, and I was never a Super Nat fan. Anybody would tell you that, but that record was, was oh my God. I hit evidence on my two-way, like, yo, dog, that's crazy. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So with records like that, it just makes me happy that I'm a fan of this whole stuff and you know see the whole thing with the beat miners album one thing I always tell people too is instead of sitting there on some oh I think they need to do this in hip hop or people need to do that in hip hop or put their records together like this instead of being a complainer why don't you just put your own product together like beat miners album yeah but, that's, walks, but you, you gotta be careful about giving oh, that no, advice no. though cause there's nah, too many what people I'm, doing that right now what I'm gonna say though is this like the beat miners album is me and Walt's version of what we think hip hop is right and yo People may listen to it and think it's whack. People may listen to it and think it's dope. But that's what I think hip hop, hip -hop should sound like. We can't make everybody happy. You know what I'm saying? My thing is, as long as you listen to it, yo, you can listen to it and tell me, yo, it was garbage. As long as you listen to it. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's what it goes down to. Right. And you then, know? um, what, what is actually, what's the first single going to be off this album? It's, we got, like, two first singles. It's uh, Mafia Don, Last Emperor, and Came to Do Wordsworth. Yeah. Okay. I got the, the singles high off the press, and, uh, you can always tell when, when Words, Wordsworth is featured on a song, it never says clean version, it just says album right, version. Because it's, yeah. because it's always clean when it's Wordsworth. You know Wordsworth. why? Because Wordsworth is Jalil and Ecstasy. He, yeah. He's Houdini. He don't make dirty records. Rock him over here. Rock him's he's another one like that. He's Rock him. He don't make dirty records, yo. Good old days. He's, yo, he's proof that you don't, you don't need to really curse to be nice, you know what I'm saying? That's right. Okay. Well, you know what? Let's check this out. Right now, off the Beat Miners album, and it's called Fully Loaded with Static. We're going to talk more. We're going to find out some more dirt. Oh, shout out to my people in Cali that's listening. Yeah. Because they always hit me like, yo, I heard you on the radio today. 
That's good. Yeah, good. 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 Yeah, it's all good. Illy Jax, Ricardo, what up? Halftime Radio Show, we'll be back in a sec. Beat Mine is up here. What we came to do is have fun with you. What we came to do. Have fun with you, what we came to do is Have fun with you, what we came to do Have fun with you Are we on the air? Uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh, yo, yo, uh-huh Be minus, word, word, uh-huh If it ain't broke, it don't fix it, yeah Hey yo, uh-huh, check it, yo, uh-huh, yo, hey yo, just what you expected, words, words, started, now it's all, pick which part of the song you wanna learn first, the hook or the rhyme, cause I put in the time when I work, no matter who's first, you wanna hear words first, like it is, I tell it, like you lived embellished, Shicey Clips is jealous, so once you get yourself, it's advice you give, it's helpless, kids rebelling, cause they bodies quickly develop, so they rift to elders, chicks and fellas, skid roll bids with felons, where they dwell in Christ, hey yo, just what you expected, Words, words, started, now it's on Pick which part of the song you wanna learn first The hook or the rhyme Cause I put in the time when I work No matter who's first You wanna hear words first Like it is, I tell it Like you lived embellished Shicey Clips is jealous So once you get yourself His advice you give is helpless Kids rebelling Cause they bodies quickly develop So they rip to elders Chips and fellas Skid roll bids with felons Where they dwell, they need Christ Cause they live with hellas If it ain't in a bottle, it's rolled Have your mind and body control Your soul, what's the price you give to sell it? Terrible See. Burials and areas you be Scenarios, venereal disease Inferior from greed The paper's getting scarier to read It's not fair for them comparing you to me Come on What we came to do Turn the party out Have fun with you What we came to do Turn the party out Have fun with you What we came to do Turn the party out Can your icon and your idol From all the live songs I provide you Get along, we should try to I'm warning my rivals, you'll be gone So don't make the song to reply to We'll be held liable No protection program can hide you Move to any section, I'll find you Did it undeniable Spit it to inspire you Reliable, described as a guide to survival In every way, your everyday life you can't apply to So don't buy to these guys trying to sell lies to you Know this ain't come as a surprise to you Had some kind of clue that words would be the one when you decided to It's time to any place they drive or flies to Required and entitled to Bring out another side of you Can't be shy or silent to Ride or ride to Wild or night until the sky is blue What we came to do Turn the party out Have fun with you What we came to do Turn the party out Have fun with you What we came to do Turn the party out Initially, our game was small, it's larger Cause we kept our aim at going farther Let's keep it moving Amazes me the places that we've been to The looks on the faces when we depart from the venues The porters bang the windows of the cars we get into Didn't want to stop, so let's put it in park and continue cause What we came to do, turn the party out Have fun with you, what we came to do Turn the party out Have fun with you, what we came to do Turn the party out
do is have some fun. That was 1985 right there. That was 85. 1985. That's when records was... I'm an old dude, man. Well, you know. <laughs> wow. Word, words took him back to 85 on that. Yeah. You know, we had to put the scratches and the hooks and the... Beard. That's 85 right there. Yeah. That's 20 years ago. Wow. <laughs> 20 years. Yeah. It's a carol. So, uh, all right. So, let me ask you this. So, in, in, in the... Uh -oh. The years that no, this is an uh oh question. Uh -oh. And the years, right. that, <laughs> the years that you guys been making beats, who, who's your favorite artist to work with? We always say that. Hammer, Hammer, <laughs> and two big MC. Those dudes are hot. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> Yo, how are you gonna find out Ace Juice though? True. Ace Juice, Ace Juice, I couldn't do that, man. Yeah. Mellow Man Ace was the highest dude we worked with. Mellow Man Ace. Nah, look, it was a, it's a numerous. Like this is the the punctual crew. Words work, and I'm not saying that because he's here. Uh -huh. Sadat X. Yeah, Sadat X, definitely. Uh, who else? Who else? Uh, wow. Last Amp. Last Amp is great to work with. Yeah. Um, the thing with Last Amp, which I like about him, is I can go, your Last Amp, this record is about cotton. And he'll go do what he does and come back with rhymes about cotton. <laughs> And, and then, and really, like, words, words gets it. A lot of yeah, MCs words don't not, yeah. get it. Right. Words gets it. He knows. Me, it's all about making songs. Uh, you know what I mean? People know you know how to rhyme. Right. It's all about People making People know songs. that words worth knows how to rhyme. Exactly. <laughs> I had to tell dudes, like, a lot of dudes was on some, my man in Cali was on some, I said, yo, words got a new album out. Oh, that's the rap, dude. Rap, 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 rap. <laughs> I said, nah, for real. I'm not, I'm not saying that because he's my man, but yo, for real, listen to his album. His album's got concepts on it. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Bonds, you know? And he diversified his bonds. <laughs> yeah, they actually, uh, I, I overheard this conversation tonight at Fat Beats. Uh, this cat came in and um, came in looking for, for, for words his album. And that's when we realized we actually just sold the last one earlier today. Um, but uh, that was like, you know, really the only album he was looking for in that genre you know what i'm saying other than that he was looking for like you know your typical hood stuff yeah and um it was but it was ill though to see him looking for all this other stuff and then looking and for words out words. you know what i'm saying so then, then he got to a whole debate with one of the other guys that worked at the store about like you know underground versus commercial and this and that i don't know what is underground i remember when yeah. gangsta was on the ground you know, the you know what i'm saying so, so there's so many people misinformed right now out know. there it's, it's like people people this late like people in the commercial world like and i'm going to use you know like hot 97 i guess as an example like most of the people that would listen to that station or even the people that work on that station some of them used to dj enough actually ran to yesterday who came by the store um but like not here like so once in a while like angie martinez will play like a quality record and then be like oh yeah i like that backpack stuff uh, and it's just like yo it's like <laughs> what are you talking I think, about i think the word backpack is disrespectful yeah, yeah but it's I like i think so it's, it's, it's like you said, like, you know, underground to, underground to me was like, you know, a few years back where you had like, you know, Missing Links, D-I-T-C, like yeah. you said, Gangstar, you know, you got, you know, you got, you got all these records, you know, in these groups that, that, that were just making good music, you know, yeah. and, and then since then, you know, the internet came along and this came along and now everyone wants to be a rapper and everyone's putting out their, oh, their yeah. joint. And to me, that's when you get, like, the backpacker term where it's, like, kids that have never been outside of their house and, yeah. like, you know, and, and make a joint. And it's, like, and they're, they're, they're huge now over the internet, but yet never shown their face anywhere. And it's, like, I don't you know, understand that. Never did a show. Can exactly. you get into a party with a backpack on? I, I don't no, know. I, I've done that. <laughs> I've really Can done you? that. I've done that. Well, I can't go to Yankee Stadium with a backpack. They won't let me in. <laughs> yeah, you're a father now. Oh, that's true. Uh, that's true. <laughs> like, yo, the dudes actually go to the party and hear something with their backpack. Oh, that's hot. And they're moving and they back. Nah, yo, yo, hold them up. Yeah. Hold them up. <laughs> yo, that's hot. A shop yo. rock. That's hot music. And yeah. you know what's the bad thing? One thing I will say. Come on, man. Like, me, and Buck, me, Buck, and Five get blamed for that term sometimes. And they don't remember Grand Poover had a backpack. Of course, that in the video all the time, yeah. Grand Poover. We had our backpack when we was boosting. Right. You know? So, oh, okay, so it's boost rap. So the kids who listen to that, they go out and steal. Yeah, right. Okay, I'm getting it now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you wish. know. They wish. I'm getting it now. The five finger discount. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah, but I mean, you know, there's, so, there's so many cats that um, they just, they just, it's just so one-sided. You know what I'm saying? It's like they're, they're anti-commercial, they're anti-underground. Yeah. Oh. It's like they can't, 
they can't listen, you know, someone might like words, but they can't listen to 50 Cent, or they listen to 50 Cent, but they can't listen to, you know, this guy or that, you know what I mean? It's like, it's, you know, it's like, there's, they all make good music and some of them bad music, you know, it's like, take your pick. You know, it's the other thing I was telling, I was telling somebody today, in the United States, everybody is, is like, you know, separate. You got 50 Jay-Z here, you got the words, beat mine is there, you got, you know, you got all the deaf jokes over here, but in... Like Europe, yo, you can see a show. This would be the show. Nonfiction, beat miners, Wordsworth, Nelly, and Jay Z. One show. Well, before you, <laughs> before you finish that statement, can I just tell you? What's up? We just got an offer to do a festival um, in the Cork Festival in Norway. Oh. Us and Snoop. Come on, B, that's yeah. what I'm talking Us about. <laughs> so diversify your bond. <laughs> saying so it, it, it's it's it's, it's just but about see, music that's the whole thing it's like it's one thing i always say over here music is segregated yeah they always try to separate everybody and put them in a box mm -hmm. that's why and it's like even with myself that's why you see in my joint you see like a eggman rock kim a snoop and then you see your joint you know what i'm saying right. Like cats don't understand. And somehow Nate Dogg G Funk Classics get caught up yo, in there. Yo, Nate, like Dogg, like Nate Dogg. Uh, uh, Nate Dogg. Uh, you can't front yo, on Nate, like Dogg. Nate Dogg. Yo, the only reason I watched that um, Chris Rock movie is because Nate Dogg. Oh, uh, come on. <laughs> Come on, can't come hate on. Nate Dogg. Yo, Nate Dogg, yo. Nah. That's my dog. I bet you when I go to LA, I bet you I'll hook up with Nate Dogg. Ah, oh, come on. Because I always see Nate Dogg when I'm uh. on the West. Mecking the soul, brother, man. Mecking the soul, brother. Yeah, Help but me. see, but see, but that bitch practice what you preach, though. You gotta, yeah. you gotta, you know, make room for other stuff. Yeah. Mecking the soul, brother. Mecca yo. Soul, brother. <laughs> Breaking Adams, give me that. Uh, yeah, you don't know how many beefs and, 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 and you know arguments I've gotten into over the years. Now the fat beats about you know cats that like you know about the whole what's hip hop and like you know and, and you know what makes the cut and what doesn't. And it's like yo, it's like yeah. not, and I use that analogy. The hip hop to me coming up, it's you know traditionally it's like beat rock and premiere. You know what I'm saying? It's like you know those type of songs. You know, it's like that's why it's debatable. That's why if hip hop wasn't debatable. It would really be dry. Like, a lot of cats think it's dry now, but it's still debatable. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's just and, a look. Yeah, yeah. One, one, thing I, one thing I'll say is I remember, I remember listening to your show a couple years ago and hearing the, um, the, was it the Good Times joint on there? Or, good times. Was it the, um, what's Good Times? No, I'm talking about, um, like, I Get High song. Oh, no, the, the style joint? And I was like, yo, it's wrecking. This is hot, too. <laughs> it's hot. And I said, you know what? I said, yo, I'm glad you're playing that because I didn't want, like, people always put, oh, well, that's that's, that's underground. Oh, put it in a box. Right. Yo, it's just, it's hip-hop. Whether you're, whether not, you know, as long as you cutting it up, and as long as you making it happen, as long as it's hitting, you know what I'm saying? Yo, that's it right there. Mm -hmm. Stop being segregated, man. Only in America. Of course. Words were you're too quiet back there. You gotta you gotta you gotta get closer to one of these mics and uh Yeah, yeah. Speak um, your clout. Nah, I was, I was I was listening, I was just thinking like, you know, I listen to everything, man, because um through, throughout my years of doing this and coming up here rhyming and rhyming at different radio stations and, and going through the phases of every open mic in New York City, rhyming on the corner at three in the morning. Um a lot of people aren't here anymore putting out records that I used to rhyme with on the corners. <laughs> and a lot of them kind of like pushed themselves out of it because there was a time when they would just rhyme mad about what was going yeah. on. You know what I'm saying? And m my thought was like, well, I hang out with people that's kind of in that realm of liking commercial and kind of in the realm of liking what we do. Right. So there's no way that I'm going to knock it because I like to look fresh too. Right. I like to wear, wear a fresh pair of ears. Yeah. <laughs> I like, you know what I mean? I like my jacket looking hot. I like uh -huh. that type of thing. So it's just a, it's just finding a fine line without trying to disrespect somebody else's thing because a lot of people that was hating on on that music wasted a lot of time and a lot of energy and ain't here no more. Of course. That's, that's it. I'll tell you who's still here. Percy P is still here yo. and he got that radio with him. Nah, but I like, yo, <laughs> Percy P got a hot joint, though. See, let me tell you why I respect Percy P. Because the hustle is real. Yeah. 
Yo, I, I remember one time I, I spoke to a person and said, yo, man, you don't need to be on this corner selling these tapes or whatever. He was like, yo, E, I sell 10 tapes a day. I get to go home. That's $100. I went just like this. You know what? Respect the hustle. And I was Percy P back in the days with my yeah. mixtapes. Percy P. So I have to respect nah, I definitely, speaking on that topic, I definitely respect this hustle as many of the artists hustles that, that want to go that route. <laughs> yeah. But, but don't do it in front of my store. Not do it in my doorway. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's That's like, the bad part. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm going to Fat Beats to buy, like, I'm going to Fat Beats to buy, like, an uptown break. I got this dude trying to hustle a CD to me. So then I go, yo, got it on vinyl, I'll buy it. And they go, ah, oh, evil. Oh, and you rock with CD Jay-Z. I got a better story. I got a better story. And I forgot to tell you this. Last week, I, I, I went to go see E. I went to go see Eclipse at, at Fat Beats. And I, I'm coming down. This dude comes up to me and says, yo, excuse me, sir. Do you know, he said, do you know who the boot camp click is? <laughs> oh, you got Steel's cousin. Yeah, I said, <laughs> I said, boot camp? He said, yeah, do you know who boot camp click is? I said, yo, dude, Wait, I, no. I made Stop the boot that. camp Wait. click. Stop the music. <laughs> Stop the music. No. Stop the music. How did he not know who you no. are? Let me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me bring to the attention of the public. He is talking about uh, a gentleman by the name of Life Eagle. Yeah. Okay. Who, no disrespect to him. Who, yeah. who uh, supposedly, uh, from what I hear, you know, says all the time that he's... Steel's cousin. Yeah. I, I mean, you're no, the he first. No, he's Steel's cousin. Yeah, but I just, but if he's, well, he's saying he's he trying to who camp? you yeah. was. B, I never seen this dude before in my right. life. Right. I'm coming out. He said, excuse me, sir, do you know who Boot Camp Click is? I said, Boot Camp? Yo, dog, we made, me and my brother made Boot Camp Click. <laughs> he said, who are you? I said, dude. <laughs> Yo, I'm Mr. Wall. He said, oh, peace, Mr. Wall, peace. <laughs> so he takes the CD out, and I'm seeing Bucktown, Smith & Wesson, oh. with M.O.P., and I was like, yo, yo, dog, I did that. You know what? You don't know what, you, you know what, dude? I, I don't even have this on CD. Good looking. <laughs> oh, oh, yo, dude, that's $10. Wow. $10 for my own record? <laughs> Yeah, the I king son of Yeah, I said, you know what? No no disrespect. You got your hustle joint on, but yo, dog, come on, man. Yo, yo, peace, 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 peace. I was like, you know what? I'm going to keep it moving. I got my son with me. I'm, I'm chilling. <laughs> See, I didn't even know. I never paid attention to any of his, his CDs, so I assumed they were at least his joints. I thought he was selling his no, it's, it's a double CD, I think. I think one CD is his joint, uh -huh. and the other CD is like Smith & Wesson, and a lot of boot camp stuff, like Sean Price and, right. and stuff like that. And I was like, yo, dog, come on, man. Like, then I asked him, I said, yo, did, did my man Drew let you do that? Like, he was like, yeah, everything is cool. I said, all right, cool. Just as long as you got everything toy away. I don't know if it's really happening. I'm not trying to put dude on yo, blast. Yo, Drew, hit us up. <laughs> let us know what the deal is, Drew. Hey, this is Why true. It's not true. want to know. Hey, this is true. It's not true, man. Come on. <laughs> Come on, man. You put me on blast. All yo, right. dude said, yo, do you know the boot camp click? I was like, huh? Ah. You know what? Here goes something. Here goes something, too. Okay. So. Bananas. How many people try to introduce me to Mr. Walk? Oh, my God. Nah, you got to be kidding. No, one, died, one guy did that. Yo, I'm dead serious. <laughs> dude came up to me like we was in Florida. Dude said, yo, I want, yo, Mr. Walk, I want to introduce you to this dude. He reminds me just like you, yo. He yeah. said... Swear yo, to God. Evil D, this is Mr. Wall, Mr. Wall, Evil D. So E said, yo, F that dude, man, F that dude. So dude looked at, like, E, like, yo, are you bugging? Like, yo, how you gonna talk to him? Like, you don't know him. I said, yeah, I know that punk. He a sucker, yo. And he said, oh, yo, like, he thought we was going to brawl. He said, you guys know each other? I said, yeah, I met him, like, and when my mom bring him home from the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> he said, oh, my bad, my bad. <laughs> that happened like at least three times already. Uh, Yo, we writing the book after this. All this hip-hop uh, yeah. stuff is over. We writing the book. The we writing the book. There's so much stuff to talk about. Yeah. <laughs> so much. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh, like, oh. Yo, like it's, it's ill, like I was telling Captain said, in this game, you got a lot of genuine people, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? You got cats that, yo, like, like yourself, if you say, yo, E, X, Y, Z, I need da 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 as long as I can make it happen, I'm make it happen. Right. And that's true talk. Then you got a lot of cats, hey, call me, we'll do lunch. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah, that's well. hip. That's the hip-hop game Then you, you got dudes that meet you five, six times, and then when they meet you again, it's a pleasure to meet you. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Out of here with that dude. <laughs> mm. Oh, mm. You're groovy, man. Groovy. <laughs>
This is 89.1 FM, the halftime radio show. We here with the beat miners and Wordsworth, and we talking about the new album, Fully Loaded with Static. That's right. And, and when I first got the advanced copy that, that uh, Evil D gave me, you know, I asked him, I was like, yo, is this a real copy or is this like a promo copy with the shout outs? He's like, nah, I'm giving you the real copy. I, I go back and I play it, and I hear all this loud static over the whole thing. I was oh. like, yo, he played me. He gave me the joint with all the static on it. Brother, everyone in America is getting that copy. <laughs> because that's the premise of the album. <laughs> that, was, that was before I knew the name of the album. Now, it's, I had two copies with me. I had the Namine copy, and I had the Fam copy. I gave you the Fam uh, copy. Well, you know it. Uh -uh. But yeah, there's a lot of sampled static throughout the, right. the album. That's right. So, And I guess that's with the, the, the you know, the theme of keeping it real like you know keeping authentic yeah and, and, yeah. yeah the analog days exactly yeah. <laughs> oh man all right so um let's get into another joint uh the joint with last emperor okay off the album and then when we come back words you can't come up here without spitting something man. <laughs> but, we, but we do have other guests waiting so it, so keep that in mind you guys are in for a treat keep that in mind <laughs> And, uh, yeah, like I said, the Halftime Radio Show, New York University. Um, the next few weeks going to be real, real busy up here. Next week, we got Juju Mob. Uh, we got my man, Ball Technique. Um, we're going to have uh, E-Dot, uh, Lower Velocity, Don and Lynx. Um, lots of people coming through. And um, lots of music and lots of talk. Right here at Halftime Show. We'll be back in a minute. Soldiers of sound, high rollers taking over your town. Deadly threat, I confess when we throwing it down. Any set who want test go below in the ground. Get the big bosses back to attack with the soldiers of sound. High rollers taking over your town. Deadly threat, I confess when we throwing it down. Any set who want test go below in the ground. Get the big bosses back to attack with the soldiers of sound. High rollers taking over your town. Deadly threat, I confess when we throwing it down. Any set who want test go below in the ground. Well, the big boss is back to attack with the soldiers of sound. High rollers taking over your town. Deadly threat, I confess, when we throwing it down. Any set who want test, go below in the ground. Get your vest. It's now black like a whole crowd. Bam. I suggest you bend down. You all I'm holding the crowd. Prisoner, the prime minister. You all know who's holding the crown. Can't get with us, you can only get down. Uh, the mic bender. The whack rapper life ender. My hype temper. Cause some of y'all are tight tender. The trendsetter. Back to seller. An old vendetta, and you can print it in big bold letters that the gangland terminator, the crime scene implicator, the underground resonator, the mob hit designator, the underworld liberator, the do or die demonstrator, the weak rap eliminator, and the underworld undertaker. Uh, now lick a shot for the mafia. Now lick a new shot for the conqueror My rhyme family goes wherever I go Those who don't submit are known to get hit with hollow tips uh, Now lick a shot for the mafia Now lick a new shot for the conqueror My rhyme family goes wherever I go Those who don't submit are known to get hit with hollow tips uh, Now lick a shot for the mafia now lick a new shot for the conqueror My rhyme family goes wherever I go Those who don't submit are known to get hit with hollow tits Rip the half raw rap is what I show Put the sleep six feet deep, turn into fossils <laughs> Let it be known I got the game sold like Al Capone in Chicago Yeah, y'all, tell them the motto, uh I'm The trench town total record Crush any no defector I'm The rap boys no director The fool boy bone collector the murder method, fear and respect it, forever well connected, you put it together, now you don't want to cross paths with the last rap mafia time, the true ruler of organized rhyme, I'm equipped with an iron fist, the more
immortalize mine. I insist you play this back like four or five times. Uh, I combine musical murder and street science. I took a vow like Omerta, complete silence, to put it down like the underworld overlord and spit it like it was written by Francis Ford Coppola. Either get down or gun down. Tear your whole club down. Violators get rubbed out. Assassinated and shut down. Salute the top general. Separate the cops from the criminals. Opposition is minimal. Get with us or we'll get rid of you. Halftime radio show, Mr. Wordsworth, the album Mirror Music in Stores. Yeah, yeah, the Mirror Music in Stores. Get that Beat Miners album. We got the, the Fat Beats in store. When is it? Tuesday the 19th. Uh -huh. That's right. You know, next week, it's going to be very serious up in there. I'm going to be up in there. We're going to have fun up in there, you know what I mean? Oh, and the SP will be out. See, I, I didn't tell the people. I, I kept it a secret, so. I, hey, I don't care. I'm having a, <laughs> I don't know. I might just make a beat in the store. I don't know what I'm going to do. Okay. Yeah, fully loaded with static. Make sure you get that. You know what? As a matter of fact, should I do that? I'm going to make a beat in the store. Okay. Get some records together. We're going to make some. We're going to show you all that. I actually make beats, so come down and watch me make a live beat. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right, so we got, like, a little time to we got, rhyme. We got a little time to rhyme. We got a little time to rhyme, so I'm going to take it. Make sure that I do it right now. This rap game to me is sacred, but it causes a lot of hatred because cats, they try to fake it. But it's something that's in me, so it's nothing. I can't shake it. We got that in store. I know you're going to come in there, buy one, and after that, you're going to have to purchase ten more. It's called Fully Loaded with Static. Now, nah, it ain't over dramatic. It's something you got to have it. These other cats can understand the type of static that's inside of the package. It's how I got it. This Dramatic. I came here with Mr. Ball and Evil D. Got people out there like Wordsworth. One day they seeing me. Probably see me last week up at the BB. That's um Kings. I added it to K I N G with a S at the end. And I just recommend way the records they blend and the records they spin. The way I put it down, you gotta listen. And Wordsworth always write an ill composition inside my mind. I'm just combining these lines. I heard Shabam Sadiq is here. Yo, piece of that cat. I ain't seen him in some years. And we keeping it clear I got a lot of ideas This is my career I know the share the Things inside of my dome And I'm writing these poems And after this We heading right home Now I see my man Lose cannons Words word For the microphone Like Bruce Banner You know I do damage These cats out scrambling They can't handle the move How I'm showing right now So I show when I prove So make sure y'all cop it It got a lot of people On the joint So when the needle's On top of it And it's dropping Then you gonna understand We got Mystic Got last Emperor, KRS one. You know this is how we show how the best come on the microphone, and that's a less son. That's it. I'm done with the session. Woo! There it is. Words yeah, worth. Yeah. yeah. Accompanied by the beat miners. Yeah. Yeah. Wordsworth album Mirror Music is in stores right now. That's yeah. right. 